This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says, in the right triangle below, what is the value of x? So if we look at our right triangle, you can see that we're given two sides and we're being asked to find a third side. And for that reason, you should recall that we can use the Pythagorean theorem to do that. Again, on the ASVAB and PyCat, you're not given a reference sheet or a calculator. So you do have to commit some of these basic formulas, including the Pythagorean theorem to memory at some point. The Pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, where a and b are the legs of the right triangle and c is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is easy to identify because it's always directly across from the right angle. So in this case, I know c is 15. That means x and 9 centimeters are the legs. So I'll let a be x and b be 9. And with that in mind, let's go ahead and plug these in. This becomes x squared plus 9 squared equals 15 squared. All right, let's go ahead and work this out. 9 squared is the same thing as 9 times 9, which is 81. You should recall that from your times tables. Now, 15 squared is something you don't see every day, so we're going to work that one off to the side. Uh, 5 times 5 is 25, so bring down a 5, carry a 2. 1 times 5 is 5 plus 2 is 7. Before we start multiplication with this one, we're going to bring in a zero placeholder. One times five is five. One times one is one. Let's add all this up. This is five. Seven plus five is 12. Carry a one. One plus one is two. So this becomes 225. All right, we're still trying to solve for x. So the next thing we're going to do is subtract 81 from both sides. This crosses out, leaving us with x squared over here. And let's work this out so as not to make a mistake. 5 minus 1 is 4. 2 minus 8 we can't do, so we're going to borrow. This becomes 1. This becomes 12. 12 minus 8 is 4. 1 minus nothing is 1. So this becomes x squared equals 144. Again, we want to solve for x, not x squared. So to get rid of this square, we're going to do the opposite operation. That is to say we're going to take the square roots of both sides of this equation. These cross each other out, leaving you with just x over here. The square root of 144 is something you should know. That's going to be 12. So the answer to this one, uh, what is the value of x? It is clearly 12 centimeters c.